Well, I think it just got to a point where, you know, especially in the UK, in the scene in the UK, there's like a glass ceiling if you're, if you're, you know, a hip hop person from the UK. There's, there's a certain point that you can reach beyond which it's very difficult. And, you know, we kind of, I don't know, we kind of listen to different styles of music and we've always been open to collaborating with like, you know, over different genres of music and stuff. Initially, initially we were working with uh, Dag Nabbit, who was, you know, who is still part of the group and he produced the first two albums. And then, I don't know, we wanted to kind of change the sound a little bit, so we just started. I mean, it actually, it actually came about from just people hitting us up because you know they liked the music and they wanted to work with us they wanted to work with us as MCs so we would just like experiment and do tracks with this guy do tracks with that guy and then we just kind of got on a roll where we realized that we can actually you know we can spread our sound it's pretty much anywhere we just happen to be in this like really focused hip hop mind state where we put our stuff out because that's the stuff we needed to represent and if you want to come out as a rap group you need to cut your teeth and do the underground shit and show your skills. Anyone that's seen the show will know that we've never been just a straight hip hop act even though the first, even though Silent Speakers was a hip hop record. A lot of people say like, we're a dubstep group or a grind group, it's not really like that. We don't see it like that at all. <laughs> 